So, how's it going? What's up? We can't afford this. Well, you just reopened. This is what pick up. I'm not talking about the haunted star. I'm talking about the baby. What am I looking at? Okay, um, this is all of the stuff that we need. You think that you can get away with a crib, a changing table, some diapers, a onesie, a pacifier, and a diaper genie, but no way. Okay, there is so much more. Okay, well, we don't need that. That's a chair. We have lots of chairs. No, that's not a chair. That is a glider. Babies need to glide now. Okay, what do we need a centrifuge for? That is a spin and store bottle drying rack. Okay, we'll use the dish drainer. Two down, what's next? Um, well look, this is the convertible travel system. Crib bumpers. Okay, I have no idea what that is, but obviously the baby needs it. No, the website wants to make you think the baby needs it. That, that's something different entirely. Well, fine. Okay, even if we go down to just the bare essentials, wow. it's gonna be expensive and time consuming, and we haven't even started yet. The baby's gonna be here in like 10 to 12 weeks, and we don't even have onesies, and we need okay. we need like 14 Hold of those. The phone. You know, we'll save up every week for a onesie, and by the time the baby gets here, we'll have lots of onesies. Yeah, but how will we buy the onesies when we don't know the sex of the baby? What color will we buy? Sports stuff. Yankees gear, lots of Yankees stuff. No Red Sox, Giants, no Jets, no Patriots. We'll be fine. What if the baby grows up and likes the Patriots? What if the baby is a Red Sox fan? Mm. Ooh. Why? Why would you traumatize the father to be? Because we should be traumatized. We are not ready for this baby. Between your parents and my parents and our families and friends, we're gonna get everything the baby needs. We're gonna get stuff the baby doesn't need. Okay, yeah, no, that's, yeah, that's probably true. Okay, so just relax and wait for your baby shower. I guarantee you, you're gonna get so much stuff, we're not gonna have enough room for it in the apartment. Well, yeah, you know about that, maybe we should consider moving. You wanna move? Well, I don't know if we should add house hunting to the stressful. Well, I don't want to miss out on the perfect place just because we're not paying attention. Don't you think our baby deserves a nursery? I don't think the baby's gonna care. If the baby gets here and we're too crowded, we can think about moving then. We don't have to worry about that right this second. I just want to do something, okay? I want to contribute. I feel like Maxie is doing everything and it's not even her baby. What did you mean? Look, I know how strange this must be for you. You give me a mother and someone else is carrying this baby. After all this time, I'm still weirded out by it. I mean, we get to go with Maxie to these appointments like we're doing today, but she's the one who takes all the prenatal vitamins and wears all the maternity clothes, and she's the one who gets fussed over. I am jealous of her stretch marks and her swollen ankles and her weight gain. <laughs> I just try to imagine, you know, what what it would feel like to be able to feel the baby moving around. I love Maxie and I, I'm so grateful for what she's doing for us, but I hate that I'm not the one carrying this baby. Hey, 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 you know what? She's gonna be this baby's mother for another like two or three months. And then when little Rocco or Juliet arrives, you can <laughs> tag her out and you step okay, in Okay, we really over. need to stop calling the baby Rocco or Juliet. Why? Because the name might stick. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so bad. Well, someday um, he or she is going to ask me, Mommy, why is this my name? And I don't want to have to tell them that it was really just a placeholder, you know, and it, it stuck, so. <laughs> you bring up an excellent point, you're right. Our child is going to ask that question one day, and it's going to ask you that question because you're the mom. And you're going to be our baby's mom its whole life. I know. So let's not worry about gliders and onesies and New apartments, okay? We're gonna be ready when this baby comes. I mean, as ready as ready as two people can be for something that is gonna change our lives in huge and amazing ways that we can't even imagine yet. Have I mentioned that I love you? You have, but I mean, you can say it again if you want. Okay, but, uh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> you can't go! Maxie? Yeah. Y you were saying that you were becoming more and more emotionally attached to the baby because then you didn't finish your thought. <sighs> baby! Hey, hey, hey there, oh, baby up? mama. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's little uh, Rocco or Juliet doing? Oh, 
Oh, pretty soon we are going to get to see you face to face. Yeah, I have to warn you. It's a dancer. Or a soccer player. Yeah. What do you think, little one? Are you ready to go to the doctor's appointment? Yeah. Yeah, Mommy and Daddy take you to the doctor, get you all checked out. Okay, well, let's get going then. All right. Oh, sorry, Spinelli. We'll talk soon. Yes, I await our reunion with breathless anticipation. 